Well, when the nerds who made the more correct career choices about becoming architects had their T-squares and their calculators all laid out in front of them, it became their goal. No bad seats. It's the goal of every architect everywhere. And that's a goal rarely met to anyone's uh, satisfaction. But it appears to have been met here. And Trevor's back with a look from the high seats here at Little Caesars Arena and the view from there, T. John, I'm in the very last row of Little Caesars Arena, and I'm very satisfied with the sight lines from here. You can see past the press box, onto the ice surface, and you can see everything. This is a great perspective on the game from this high. And as you're looking down, it's lined with television, so in case you can't see as exactly as you want to or you want to get the replay, you're going to get that too. And tonight you'll get a chance to see Michael Rasmussen playing on his home ice for the very first time. It's awesome. Uh, you know, that's a dream when you're a kid to compete against those guys. And, um, you know, so that's obviously, that, that's pretty much it. That's just, uh, you know, kind of a dream. Is there a player that you looked up to or anything like that? Or who do you style your game after of or anything like that? Yeah, there's uh, kind of a lot of guys, um, you know, growing up. I watch a lot of the Canucks, so uh, Matt Sundin at the end of his career, I really like to watch him. And, um, you know, just kind of anyone my size that's, uh, you know, kind of in my uh, playing category, I guess. He's a big kid, and when he gets his man weight on, he is going to be a load to handle. But don't take my word for it. Let's bring in Mickey Redman now and get his expert opinion on what he thinks Michael Rasmussen will bring to the table. Mick, what are your thoughts? Well, the first thought I have, Trevor, you, my dad always used to hate the 18-year-old draft. But you know what? It's here to stay. It ain't going anywhere. So when you get kids 18 years old, you just mentioned it. He hasn't even filled out yet. But when you get a big body like that, I mean, this league is getting bigger and bigger by the day. He's got the skill. He's got the hands. He's got good wheels. He's got to learn what this league's all about. He did a pretty good job in Chicago uh, a couple of days ago in an early exhibition game. Scored himself a goal. But that doesn't really mean a whole lot of anything anywhere in a whole development of what you're doing. This kid's going to get as much ice time as they can give him in the next couple of games. More than likely, he and Chilowski will be going back to junior. But you never know with injuries and things happening. He's a good-looking young prospect that's got a great-looking future for sure, Kip. I mean, this guy can light it up. He's a really good junior. He's going to probably go back and really get comfortable there, learn a lot. This experience with training camp up in Traverse City, the training camp continuation here with the exhibition games are just invaluable for a young man like this. And even though Pittsburgh doesn't have a full lineup tonight, as much as he can get of this, he's going to gobble it up. Now, I'm going to gobble up where you're at, Trev, right hey, now yeah. as I walk out the door. Out I here. think you're right across from me, if I'm not mistaken. How, where are you? Absolutely. Oh, there you are. Fans sitting in the back row. Not only can they see the game, but they can see a live <laughs> living legend right here before their very eyes. Right in front of you. It's good the stuff. Mickey Redmond. We got a great perch. Is. Good stuff being up here, isn't it? It really is, Mick. It <laughs> truly is. Have a great night. All right. You too, Mick.